I feel like this pervades into this notion at the moment where it's the Western have the information and the East don't. Whereas actually the East had the information first and there was just a, a, in the process of translating the work, it made it seem like it was actually um, a Western Enlightenment way of thinking where all this information, whether it be algebra, um, whether it be science, astronomy, astrology, uh, was all philosophy, was all centered really original uh, originally in, in, in the Greek world. Uh, and Rome, and then moved over to the Arabian world, and then transferred its way in there. Um, and as someone who loves knowledge, knows to learn, there is no better book in my mind because it just illuminates you to the fact of how narrow-minded people are, and how information yeah. spreads, and how critical it is to preserve that. Which is why coming full circle. You need to buy books and read them because when you read a book like this, you realize how important it is because if it wasn't for the books that this books talk about, we wouldn't know or have the books that we have now, if that makes sense. So it's, yeah. it's important to respect that and understand that. And that's what this book does. This is why I think it's, it's really a must read for me. I, 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 I had no other way to put it <laughs> really. Thank you for watching this video. To listen to the full podcast, click the link in the description below.